Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. We have a Migron and the reason I'm curious, more curious I think than normal, is because I don't recognize the name of the model on the box, which is actually kind of a new experience for me. Usually when I get something from Migron, it's this, it's one of their previous models just with a different a slightly different setup, right? Or it's the budget version of a premium knife or the premium version of a budget knife, right? Um, so I'm hoping that this is something new, which would be interesting. I haven't seen something brand, brand new from Migron for a while. Hoping that's what it is. Thanks to Migron for sending it in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And I have no idea where the TikTok card is. It's I'm on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. So, uh, oh, there it is. Here you go. I know you're like, please, no, I really want to know, right? Uh, anyways, this, whatever it is, will be linked in the description. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. All right, let's open her up, get into the plastic here. So this is called the the vein, or the M vein, I guess. All right. Oh, Oh, you have a, it, we have a premium crossbar lock. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay, this is something new from Migron. Oh, okay, all right, all right, okay. All right, okay. Uh, I gotta move everything out of here. So let's let's take a look here. Uh, I, um, I love that Migron took this, you know, I'm not gonna say like I said, I told them to start doing this and they did it, right? Uh, I think, Maybe they already had plans to do this, and I said it would be really cool to see diamond texturing and really fine diamond texturing, and they really went with that. They have done the fine contour diamond texturing on so many models, and I think they do a, a spectacular job of it. So this is great. It's excellent texturing on titanium that's otherwise a slippery surface. It's just enough to, to add a little bit of grippiness to it without you know being a texture that will destroy your pants over time. We have a titanium pocket clip and a titanium backspacer. Nothing too special going on there, but they did mill a slot. Look at my Guron. Look at my Guron. <laughs> they are so normally they are not great about accommodating for lefties. But we have obviously an ambidextrous locking system. We should have ambidextrous mounting positions for the pocket clip. Now, some people, and when I say some people, I mean like seven and a half people. We'll just be like, that's terrible. I have to look at that. I'm right-handed and I have to look at that. There's a bald spot on the front of the face. Okay, well, now lefties can mount, right? The 10% of our population <laughs> whose ability to carry a pocket knife is often overlooked, right? Or uh, discarded by so many companies. Now, you know, really fussy right-handed people have a few, you know, seven of them have to look at this and be slightly, you know, slightly irritated. Now all of those left-handed people have that option to carry the knife the right way, um, which I think is great. And as a right-handed person, I don't really care about this. So let's deploy it. There's three and a half minutes in, he hasn't even deployed it. Oh, not, yeah, okay, that's, that's great. This is, I think this is a good move um, to keep it simple. Who's the designer here? I don't recognize that uh, logo. You guys can tell me in the. Uh, I'm sure that the the link that I'll provide will will you know say who this is. But my guess, yeah, M390. I think they're get. I think they're finally getting these 60 to 62. I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. This is just an unboxing of first impressions. I'm not reviewing it right now because I just opened it up. But this profile is a profile that's not new, right? I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I've never seen this profile before. But I love the fact that we have a premium Migron with a crossbar lock, which by the way, oh, it's super smooth. Holy moly. That's, that's very, very smooth. Oh, that feels very good. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I do like that a lot. That is really cool. And while it's not totally, it's not like a totally brand new, you know, aesthetic for the knife world, this is something different from Migron. Uh, I think that's great. And, you know, I would have loved to see uh, like a tumbled finish or something else, but they did a nice satin finish on this. It's got a nice 
just kind of a standard, well, a little bit of a modified draw point blade, I guess. But I like this little ramp here. I think I would have preferred that there was jimping, but I'm, I'm okay with there not being jimping. I like the combination or the the choil position, right? It's not a huge choil, but it does complement the thumb position nicely. Actually, really, really comfortable ergonomics thanks to the contouring, the chamfering, the diamond texturing, right? Pocket clip probably could have been slightly shorter, but it's not much of a problem considering it's just that standard popsicle stick style clip, which it needs to be something simple and symmetrical given that it's an ambi lock, right? So the pocket clip needs to be the same. Other, I mean, if they had a unique or curved pocket clip, they would have need to include it too. This works really well. Yeah, thumb studs are nice and large, uh, very easy, very comfortable to access there or to uh, manipulate, I guess. Uh, they stick out slightly from the frame. No, they don't, do they? Yeah, I think maybe they stick out slightly from the frame. That's not really that big of a deal to me. Let's measure it uh, real quick here. The overall length of, what did we call this? Unless, unless the back of the box is wrong, the M vein, unless that's the designer, right? I'm just assuming because it looks like a lot of Vs. Um, the overall length of this is, wow, it's actually quite, it's, I thought this was an eight inch knife. It is deceptively short. I mean, it's not, it's not little, right? Uh, seven and a half inches, so it's the same exact length as something like the Demco 8020.5. Yeah, it, it really feels like a larger knife. I wonder, boy, they got, that's why. Look how much blade they packed in there. 3.35 inches with about three and an eighth for cutting edge. Yeah, um, it's a, you, they packed a lot of blade into the handle. So you, it's a seven and a half inch knife, but still easily a knife that you can get a full grip on. I love uh, the idea of a premium crossbar lock with contour diamond textured titanium. Specifically those elements, believe it or not, are fairly uncommon <laughs> in the knife world. Um, there's a few other companies out there messing around with that, right? Uh, but this is just a really, really nice combo. And as far as tension on the Omega Springs, I'm gonna call that medium. It's not quite as loosey-goosey as Benchmade, but it's certainly not as high tension as some of the stuff that we see from uh, like Kunwu, right? Um, it feels almost identical, slightly more tension than the Ritter Hoke. Um, Migron. Love this, and I'm sure that they'll have a great price tag on it. I think you guys should include additional Omega Springs. Whenever we're, whenever I'm looking at a crossbar lock, especially a premium crossbar lock, I love it when companies add additional Omega Springs in there because it alleviates so much stress from the end user, right? Uh, your warranty claims and all that, if you do have somebody break an Omega Spring, uh, adding two more is such a microscopic cost on your end, and um, you'll have way fewer people you know having issues people are much happier to just have the extras there be able to take the knife apart put the I mean it's it's a little bit of a tricky process but far from impossible um, just be able to go in and replace a broken Omega spring if that happens so I think you should consider that for the future especially if you're about to release a bunch of uh, premium models with crossbar locks right uh, consider adding additional Omega springs in there um, but uh, yeah, you know, outside of that though, um, I, I really like this. I think this is really cool. Do we have any internal milling? Yeah, we do have some internal milling. So your weight, where is the scale? There it is, right in front of my face. Stupid guy. All right, weight on this guy, 4.8 ounces, not bad. I mean, it's a little heavier than some people are gonna want, especially on a knife that's seven and a half inches. Your balance, a little bit more butt heavy, but not terrible. Honestly, really cool. I, yeah, I like this. I think this is neat. It's nice to actually see something, you know, not new for the knife world all the way around, but something new from Migron. Very cool. A lot of people will find this to be absolutely ideal. Uh, it's a very good profile, very good blade profile, great time-tested handle profile, all of that. So cool stuff. I'm going to carry and use this knife. Obviously, it won't take me, more, honestly, more than a couple of days. Um, to get my thoughts together, but you'll see the final review on this probably a couple of weeks down the road. If you don't want to wait, obviously I'll link this down in the description. You guys can check it out right now. 
please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.